it's Jenny from Origami Tree and today I'm going to do my creativation haul. So this bag is full of artsy, craftsy goodies that I got from Creativation. And for those of you who don't know, Creativation is a convention in Phoenix, Arizona. It took place about two weeks or so ago. And I went there, I taught origami with Fave Crafts and Prime Publishing. Lots and lots of fun. I also have a vlog if you want to check that out. It's going to be in the video description below. And yeah, I want to show you all of the brand new supplies that some of the brands were giving out. There's a lot of stuff in here. So it's going to be a little bit of a long video. But at some point, I'm going to give some of these things away as well. Um, not in this video, but in a future video sometime. Maybe um, for back to school or something like that or maybe a summer giveaway, I don't really know yet. Something like that, so be sure to subscribe to this channel to be alerted when that does go up. But anyway, I'm going to show you what's inside this box, or rather this big huge bag is from Sizzix. I got so much stuff, I actually had to check in luggage for the first time in my life and paid for it. So, <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I got in here. The first thing is... I don't even know why I brought this home. I don't really make... I used to make stuffed sock monkeys, but not so much anymore. But I got Fiberfill. <laughs> polyfill um, is by Polyfill, and it's just premium polyester. So, for pillows and little stuffed dolls and things like that. I got this bag. Well, everybody who attended Creativation got this bag. It has hot air balloons. Um, it's funded by Spellbinders. And it has a little cactus, which I love. This is... A dispenser it's from glue dots and it's part of their industrial um, collection or something like that so it's super 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 strong but it has a um, sort of advancer that allows you if you if you can hear that it makes a little bit of a squeaking noise and it allows you to advance one square adhesive at a time but then you can also roll it to have a whole um, you know, line of square dots. It's it's pretty cool. It's uh, pretty good as well. And in my vlog video, I actually have a demo of how this works. So it's very awesome. I'm so excited to use this one. I love um, glue dots and adhesives and tape runners just in general. More glue dots. <laughs> this is by Scrapbook Adhesives. There's 300 of them. Permanent. Permanent permanent adhesives um, and I've never tried this brand before I don't think but this is a size medium but I'm excited to try it too I'm sure it's very good then like I said some of this stuff I don't even know why <laughs> I took home because um, but anyway so this this box is a little crushed from it being thrown in my suitcase by the TSA and stuff but these are gradient yarn from Premier Yarns. So there's a couple of colors here. One, two, three, four, five. Five shades of blue. This is probably something that I will be giving away because I don't really work with yarn too much. So yeah, there's that. I got a packet of color pencils. So next I got, ooh, I love this. I was afraid of taking this on a plane because I thought it would, you know, explode and spill all over the place. One is gloss. Then there's a matte one right here. This is a sparkle one, which I've never tried. The outdoor one and the paper one. Next, I have this um, designer series. Uh, it's called a tea light box. And it is basically, you know, it's a, you put it inside a die cut machine and it cuts your paper and you can make like a little tea light out of it, which is really cool. I don't have a die cut machine. At some point, I will get a die cut machine, but they're they're around like 70 or so dollars. So I, I'm gonna have to think about that before I purchase one. Here's another tape runner that I got from Scrapbook Adhesives. This one is refillable. Actually, I think the Blue Dots one, it was also refillable. These are permanent strips and I'm excited to use that as well. I don't know, I have so much, so much glue. I don't know what to do with it all. Next, I have another pack of color pencils. This is by Leisure Arts and it came with a coloring book too. So I'm gonna go look for that. I don't really know where it went. Oh, there it is. I have actually two coloring books from them. Here we are. Nope, not that one. <laughs> oh, there it is. So I got two coloring books. One is the coastal one. So Art of Coloring Coastal. It has little fishies in it, little dories, <laughs> um, shellfish, and boats. And here's 
a page full of seashells. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty detail oriented. And here's another one. This one actually has a little origami boat right there. I don't know if you can see it. And some seagulls and starfish and it's very cute. I like this one a lot. Um, I don't really color too much but at some point I need to find a time to do it because it's supposed to be like very meditative and therapeutic and I should probably really 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 try it at some point. This one is has a bunch of flowers on them. I tend to like coloring pages with bigger spaces and bigger lines because I think if I were to color something smaller, it would take me forever. Oh, and I like how you can tear out the pages too. I just noticed that. Like you can, there are perforated dotted lines for you to peel off the pages and take it on the go <laughs> or frame it or something after you're done coloring. The next thing I have. Ooh, painter's tape. Painter's tape from 3M. So this was part of a really fun booth. It was called a splatter room, I think. And basically you would get into a suit. You can also watch my vlog. I I did it, it was really fun. Um, you dressed up in a suit and it like covers everything except for your eyeballs. And then you put on like um, those ah, chemistry goggles or work goggles. You put them on and then you just kind of take the paintbrush and you fling it. and. I made a piece of art that I actually couldn't take back to New York because the paint didn't dry in time. I was kind of upset about that. I like brought it back to the place that I was staying, but at the end I couldn't bring it back. Um, but painter's tape, we just, you know, it's good for you putting on canvases and then kind of making designs over it and also for just painting in general. Then I have another box of yarn. Oops, upside down. Don't know what's inside. <laughs> We're gonna open it up. Oh, I remember what this is now. Okay. So this one is, it's like a sweatshirt yarn kind of. It feels like a sweatshirt, so it's not like, you know, your typical yarn. It comes with this and then it has instructions on how to, maybe at some point I'll make this, I don't know, make a pot holder. So a little plant holder, like you put, you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, the, I can't talk right now. So, um, you make a plant holder out of this yarn and then you can put a terrarium or a cactus or something like that and it has instructions in the back. I'll probably showcase this at some point. Let me know in the comments if you want to see this. So this is, these are rather, um, they're by Petaloo and they're just little like little flowers that you can use as embellishments for cards or any type of crafts that you might be doing so these are always coming in handy oh there's a funny story to these so this is by polyfill but it's not actually polyfill so it's it's actually cotton candy um, but it looks like polyfill so here's my bag of polyfill and actually when I was at the networking event I was I, I thought this was part of one of the, their new items from polyfill i thought you would stuff pillows in it or something like that and i'm like squishing it and squishing it and i'm like what the why does it feel so like dense and moldable and pliable and things like that and it turns out it's just cotton candy so i just thought that was really funny because i felt kind of ridiculous <laughs> so the next thing i have oh my god more adhesive sheets the next thing i have here is oh this is fun so this was a part of a make and take that I did. It has, and I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this as well. It's called the accordion book, and it's very heavily origami based. So you, you know, has a little ribbon. You untie it, and then it expands and collapses. This is something else that I made at Creative Vision. It was at the Sizzix, yeah, the Sizzix. Um, station or booth and it is a little cactus a paper cactus this is stuck on you it's very tiny it's very cute though and has little spikes at the side i have some more tape runner honestly i don't know what i'm gonna do with all of these it's called by a brand called sticky thumb i love their packaging there's a little bit of baker's twine at the very top which is a really nice touch i don't know if it comes like this in retail but when they were giving it away inside a basket on the ground um there there was baker twine tied to the very top of it i'm gonna try these at some point too after i finish using all of my other tape runners that i got at creativation and the tape runners that i already have in my room <laughs> so 
so now I have these 3D created foam um, foam creative sheets by Scrapbook Adhesives. These are kind of fun because you get to choose the shape that you want. So these are good for like shaker cards and things like that. I have a little tape measure from Clover. So this is very, very cute. It's a plastic stamp or I think it might be a... It's a clear rubber stamp rather by Joy Claire and it says be joyful so it has a little bird kind of reminds me of the origami tree bird but a little fatter <laughs> um i mean in a very cute kind of way next i have another easy dots um tape runner by scrapbook adhesives this one is in a nice light blue color which i really really like and it has a unique shape as well so it's not like it's hard to describe but there's like a little heart at the very top and then it kind of curves that way which is pretty neat then I have a mini fan I don't really know why I took this to be very honest it is a mini fan by uh, deflecto so deflecto has a whole bunch of organization boxes for craft supplies and they were showcasing their set of boxes there's like a whole bunch of them it's like a bunch of caddies that you put on top of one another and they all interlock and lock together um, and I didn't really get a chance to test it out, but I did see it. Uh, it's a little too bulky for my tiny Manhattan apartment, but for like a larger home, I think they're very good. So now I have one of these things. They're called Crystal Jobs, uh, Drops, sorry, Crystal Drops. And it adds dimensions to your paper cards or anything like that. And I actually thought it was nail polish because, I don't know, like it kind of reminds me of nail polish or like glitter glue maybe. But no, it just adds 3D effects to your crafts and it comes in purple, shimmery, it's pretty shimmery, kind of shimmery. So next I have these. These I thought were lip balms. I just, you know, I just think everything is every something else. But these are by Fiber Castell and this is a coconut. I'm so confused. I have no idea what these are. I thought they were... Um, lip balms and then I thought they were not and now I think they are again. I don't know. So maybe coconut is the color of the crayon and they just named it after food. Who knows. And then another thing from Fiber Castell, it is a wind up color pencil in purple. So at least this I know what it is. Ooh, I love this so much. Chameleon marker. So I have this in my vlog um, of a very awesome lady showing me how to color uh, a leaf out of this so this is a magical blender color changing pen thing um, and it's a little complicated there is the blender at the top right here so actually blender at the bottom and it has clear ink um, this is an alcohol based marker and then on the other side it is a top so this is yellow and Y02 and you just take that and you put that on top of that and then it fuses together and then when you um when you start drawing or painting uh, or coloring it starts off clear and then it gently fades into a yellow color um which was pretty neat and mind-blowing so if you want to watch the demonstration of these markers you should definitely 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 check out my vlog um yeah it's pretty cool i only got one um because you were only allowed to take one but i wanted to take them all <laughs> and then this card is from lawn fawn it was part of a make and take um i have the demo and my in my vlog as well adorable we use copic markers to color this in so it's pretty awesome I really like it and this was run through a die cut machine and you can cut out little jelly beans and little jars and you know so next I have these amazing stamps by Richard Gray he was generous enough to give these to me and it is part of their origami love collection ha how awesome is that so this one features a little elephant and an alligator and a rhino and it says birthday fun hey you and it runs through die cut machines so these are um, dies and then you basically you stamp it and then you put the die on top and then you put it in a die cut machine to cut it all out uh, and this one's a flamingo and a swan that's a swan 
yeah, that, that's that's pretty much a swan. And then a crane, it says the good life and smile, which I really like because, I don't know, I really like the word smile, it makes me happy. I can't wait to try these out. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to get a die cut machine after this. I need to start saving for a die cut machine. <laughs> Next, I have my little cactus keychain from Spellbinders. We actually made these from a die cut machine. Um, and this is special paper that is like foamy and wood. Uh, actually, no, not foamy. It's leather and wood. So that's why it's so flexible. But you can watch the vlog to see how this was made. Got a little crochet lemon from the Craft Yarn Council. Um, basically, they, you know, it's supposed to be a little stress ball. I really, really, really liked it, so I grabbed one. Here's another make and take. It's a little wonky, but it's just a little frame that was supposed to be a whiteboard, but I never really finished it. It was from the Deflecto um, booth, and it has a white marker and a pen holder here. Next, I have a super, super, duper, duper, duper cool pen blade. Uh, this is the pen blade in size 15. They have a couple of sizes um, depending on what you want to do with it. You know, it retracts and it has a little curved end right here. The coolest thing about it is this part right here at the very top. There's actually a groove that allows you to cut thread. So if you, if I take the baker twine, baker's twine from this packaging, and without even opening up the pen blade, you just slip the thread in there and it cuts the thread. So that I thought was an awesome feature, but I really like this. It's extremely light and yeah, so that's the pen, pen blade. Next, I have a whole packet of clear bags from, um, clear bags. <laughs> that's what they're called. And on the inside are just a whole bunch of bags and boxes from their site or their company oh they're little little plastic ones they're so tiny they're like i would say this is like an inch and a half or maybe two inches two inch cube and then they have like a bigger one um these clear bags uh ooh, these are awesome these are good for storing origami like the 2d ones anyway and then we have oh my gosh Oh, this is adorable. Oh, there's like a little treat bag. Good for weddings. And then we have one of these thingies, little cardboard ones. Um, these for like little teas. And then, ooh, this one's a fun one. So this is the box that has a little flower at the top. So you essentially, you open it up. Ooh, you open it up and see how well it opens up opens up pretty well locks together and then at the very top there is a flap that allows you to make it into a flower so at the very top there is a floral shape and then it is basically just a clear box but it's kind of cool and now I have some goodies from Sakura uh, Sakura makes a whole bunch of pens and markers and things like that in here I have oh and I forgot to say they are the inventors of the jelly roll as well. So <laughs> I got a jelly roll in Moonlight number six. It's called a Micron and this is apparently uh, brand new. They just came out with it and it is a pretty nice royal blue color. And then I have here a opaque pigment marker, also in blue but a lighter blue. Inside this packet is also some stickers from Sakura a pamphlet and then ooh, cute a little notebook because you know you always need more notebooks and then a little case this is the this is very cool it feels like it's made out of recycled paper it just opens up i think i'm gonna take it and put all my swag in here i got two very very cute buttons from one canoe two so one is of a little butterfly other one has white flowers on it super duper adorable another packet of blue dots <laughs> um the, this is the strong bond one versus the other one that was in the green packaging was easily removable and then i have some stamps from mse um you are my sunshine scatter joy little daisy hearts just for you giggle oh giggle that's funny that's cute 
another smile one and then happy for you another um color pencil by faber castell this is a nice aqua color another one of these that i can't figure out what it is um i still think it's um i think it's a crayon and this is in tangerine orange and then finally i have a whole stack of papers here of just pamphlet and flyers and catalogs um one catalog in particular that i want to show you if i can even find it Ooh. Is this one this one <laughs> of course of uh, the origami paper um, Ito and this is the origami paper that I use the most everybody always asks me where I get my origami paper and it is from them um, they sell them at Michaels if you have a Michaels near where you live or you can buy it on Amazon or eBay or anywhere and yeah, it's just in our entire catalog. I was really excited when I found this booth. I had a very long, very, very, very long in um, conversation with the person in charge. There's pattern paper and foil paper and double-sided paper and special craft paper. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that catalog really, really quickly. Um, I really like it. Let me know if you want me to create another video just for this catalog because it's so awesome. And then everyone at the Prime Networking event also got this Prime Networking canvas bag. It is ginormous. And this bag actually uh, saved my trip back home to New York because I needed an extra luggage because I had so much stuff that I wasn't anticipating that I was going to get. Um, so that was very helpful. That is it. Be sure to watch my vlog. I'm going to have that video in the video description below for you to watch. Subscribe to my channel. I will at some point be giving these things away. I always announce my giveaways on this YouTube channel. So make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Also notification bell right next to it. So you receive all notifications from Origami Tree. Thank you so much for sticking around. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It's probably going to be like really really long and i love you guys and thank you so much and i'll see you soon bye oh and before i go let me know what is your favorite craft item that you saw leave it in the comments below i really 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 want to know i am so excited to try everything